Hello, hello, hello. Praise the Lord, somebody. Welcome to another time of prayer on our 60 days of power and breakthrough. Amen. Yes, this is your friend, Pastor Rosemary Kaite, and then we're going to continue on our theme, that same spirit. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 11. If that same power that raised Christ from the dead, if that spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in you, it says you become that supernatural being that is able to do that which ordinary people cannot do. You are able to call life into that situation and life will come. You are able to call those things that be not as though they were and they will be. You are able like Christ to raise up yourself, your life above principalities called death or whatever it is and live in a place of victory. Amen. That is the word of God for you as this year comes to an end. And we're going to continue today. Again, today is day 29. Oh my God. My God. Day 29. 29 days gone. We just want to thank God for how he has kept us. The grace, the strength. I tell you, it's not been easy. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, I wish I had someone to do this today. But yes, each time I come out here. Is because God has given me grace and I want to thank him for that grace. And I want to also thank everyone who has been sending me feedback, sending me um, words of encouragement. And those who have been commenting, that's, that's, that's just what, those who have been sending their comments through the Facebook or through the YouTube, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your support really encouraged me. Like I say, if this prayer blesses you, copy the link, send it out to someone else to be blessed and then send me a comment because that comment makes me know that God is doing something in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, today, before we go ahead, I'm just going to say a word of prayer and we'll go right in. Amen. Jehovah, we thank you. Elohim, we thank you. Adonai, we thank you. El Shaddai, we praise your name today. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come have your way today. Come do that which only you can do. We come by your spirit. We come by your power. We come before your throne of grace to obtain mercy for a time like this. As we come before you to fellowship with you, to have a koinonia, Lord, we ask that you come have your way. Move, brood over us move and brood over us but as we pray lord every circumstances every situation that confounds your children i ask that by your mercy and your power you will reach out and do which only you can do and give them a testimony to the glory of your name in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen and amen god bless you tonight we'll continue from um our theme for this week we started a new theme on monday um, yeah today's wednesday on monday yes we started a new theme we've been praying themely if you missed the theme for last week it was on mountain we're praying against mountains of stagnation and all whatnot and testimonies came through that I, I personally have a testimony and today we're going to be praying we will continue in our prayer but in the last few days we started a new thing that is what it means to be born of the spirit what it means to be born of the spirit today we'll continue but today will not be we'll, the last two days we stayed on john chapter 3 verse 8 you know when jesus said to uh, uh, uh nicodemus he said listen in verse 6 he said that which is born of the flesh is flesh that which is born of the spirit is spirit but in verse 8 is that just as the wind goeth to and fro nobody knows where it comes from nobody knows where it's going through he said but we can feel it we can we can feel it we can sense the wind he says so is the spirit of is is, is every child of god that is born of the spirit 
and we began to look at what does that mean for us it means you're unstoppable it means what it means you are a, 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 a changer you are a, a, an element of change in any circumstance in every situation when you go into a place you bring a change it means what it means that spirit inside of you can do what ordinarily men cannot do you are unpredictable amen today we're going to go ahead and we're going to be looking at ruach yesterday i started talking about ruach and i was cut short ruach ruach simply means in the hebrew language the spirit of life the spirit of the word of god it means wind it means spirit of god it means life it means um uh, uh, uh the breath of god it's is ruach is generally synonymous to breath breath you know when you talk about breath giving life giving air giving wind to something so today we're going to be looking at rock when you're born of the spirit there is something that makes you different like i said to us when we're born of the spirit is not our flesh being turned around is our spirit what is that spirit it is the life in us it is the the life of god that is inside of us it is that spirit that we carry inside of us and it's so important, the breath of God upon a man, upon a child of God, is so, so important. And we're going to look at how important it is, and then we'll go straight into prayers. John chapter 20 talks about a beautiful story. A beautiful story of after Christ was raised from the dead, and what he did. Amen. After Jesus appeared to the disciples, what happened after he died? The Bible says in the book of John chapter 20, verse, I'm going to read from 21. Let, let, let me just read verse 22 because I'm going up to 22. But it says, and when he had said this, let me go from 21 so you understand. Then said Jesus to them again, peace be unto you as my father hath sent me even so sent i you verse 21 22 where i'm going to he said when he had said this he breathed on them he breathed on them when jesus had said peace unto them he had prayed for them but he breathed there was it was necessary for there to be a transfer of that power it was necessary for there to be a transfer of that air it was necessary for there to be a transfer of that wind of change it was necessary for there to be a transfer of that wind of life that breath of life needed to come on the disciples remember these are people who had worked with jesus they had dined with him they had slept together in one room they have gone on missions together they've been together in boats they've been together at crusade camps and all but listen to me at this point they needed that rock to come upon them the bible says jesus breathed on them said unto them listen after breathing I, I was so interested he breathed on them but what did he say he said receive ye the holy ghost receive ye the spirit of life you probably don't understand what the breath is but what i'm giving to you is the spirit that makes you a supernatural being oh no 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 that makes you that person that i have called you sent you ordained you to be what i created you for verse 23 this is one part i love in the story there was a change in the story in verse 23 the bible says jesus said to them whosoever after breathing on them these are disciples listen Jesus has sent them before now to do signs and wonders. They have, they have prayed for people. They have done things on their own. But at this time, there was a difference. There was an authority he released on them by breathing on them. He said to them, whosoever sins you remit, you forgive, they are remitted. They remain forgiven. And whosoever sins you retain, you, you, you don't forgive. They remain unforgiven. What an authority. What an authority. 
Every child of God needs to receive that breath, that ruach, that ruach of life, that ruach of power, that ruach of authority. Every one of us need it. That breath, that life of God. We know that the air is life. The air is what life. When you go to Genesis, I'm going to go there. Malika Rosetti. When we go to Gen Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says in verse 2, it said the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of earth. But something happened. The Ruach of God, the Spirit of God, hovered, moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, in the presence of that power, in the presence of that might, in the presence of that power, whatever was said came to pass. Whatever was said came to be. Whatever was said became an authority. As Jesus said to the disciples. In that same Genesis, Maleko Prashata, in the same Genesis chapter 2, Chapter 2, verse 7. The Lord, the Bible says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He breathed. No, 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 no. He breathed. That was an action right there. But what action was taken? It was the breath of life. The noun that was done was the breath of life. He breathed. And the Bible calls that breath. The breath of life that made man to become a living soul. To become a living soul. When that breath comes upon you. When that breath comes upon a man. That man moves from being an ordinary. To become a supernatural being. To becoming, to becoming someone that is not ordinary. You may probably be, have, have been born again. You probably may have been born again. Oh you know God. You were born into a Christian family. You were born into a Christian home. Oh you know how to read the Bible. You know how to interpret the scripture congratulations but until you come to the place where you receive the rock of god where you receive the breath of life you are just nothing but a formed being adam was formed but he had no soul he had no life until god breathed on him the disciples knew jesus they walked with Jesus. They knew everything about Jesus. But until the breath was released upon them, they were nothing but normal human beings. Until the breath came upon them, an authority was released. A power was released upon them. When you carry the life of God, you carry the power of God. When you carry the life of God, you carry the audacity of heaven. When you carry the power of God, you carry the authority of heaven. Pray for someone listening to me. From this night, you will begin to carry that power that only heaven gives to man. I release upon you the breath of life, the breath of heaven, the breath of life. The breath of heaven, that breath that gives life, that breath that gives life, that breath that gives life, receive it tonight, receive it tonight, receive it tonight, receive it today, receive it today, receive it today, in the name of Jesus. I said, receive that breath that makes you a living soul. That makes you all that God created you to be. That makes you all that you were ordained to be. Mashita la busa to lava. Never so to lebro shake it alaba. La brose to lava again. That's life that comes from the breath of God. Today I release it unto you. I release it unto you. Jesus released that same breath upon the disciples and they became a supernatural human. That same spirit is resting upon you right now. 
That same breath is resting upon you right now. That same breath is resting upon you right now. And I declare and decree, man, they who are too upali, they are gazuta prashiti. You are not ordinary no more. I decree you are not ordinary no more. I decree the words of your mouth carry power. I decree the words of your mouth carry authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. Man, take a bro supra lege. Iko suto laba sheta laba lege bro soto ye. La to diba sota laba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We receive your work tonight. Today we receive your work, Lord. We receive a fresh breath from heaven. We receive a fresh breath from heaven. We receive a fresh breath from heaven. Lord, we receive a fresh breath. From heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my God. You want to continue that prayer until you get to the place where you can know you have received that work until you receive it the disciples were with christ they never received it until christ had to breathe upon them decree today i decree today that god in his mercy will breathe upon you he will breathe upon you and release the power of the mighty god release the power of heaven upon your life that you will be all that god has ordained for you to be in the name of jesus amen amen and amen thank you so much for joining me god bless you join me tomorrow again we'll continue in this prayer we'll continue yes we'll continue throughout this week and probably into the new month we'll continue in the spirit of life my god my god we'll pray it until we experience it we'll pray it until we begin to walk in it we we'll pray it until it comes to a, a, a reality in our life remember you are nothing without the breath of God. The simple life you live is because you carry that rock in you. Never forget that. See you tomorrow. I love you, but God loves you more. Bye for now. From the foundations of the world, God kept on and gave us that same spirit to attain to a higher realm through prayers as it is written sixty days of power and breakthrough that same spirit with pastor rosemary